Hello and welcome to episode 11 of our Timberborn update for Water Beaver Overhaul playthrough here in cycle 18, day 10. Last time we planted a bunch of pumpkins over here and uh, did a little bit in the way of food improvements and some other fun stuff. But before we go any further, I uh, have learned that I did not set this up super well in terms of efficiency. So we're going to fix that, going to move some things around and got a comment from the mod creator actually telling me about how ridiculously bad my farm setup is. So we're going to take care of that as well. Uh, replace a couple of these guys with some more plots and actually reduce the number of farmers, but it's going to end up being a little bit faster because these uh, assistant farmers can't actually plant any crops. So there's not really that much of a benefit to having a bunch of these guys because these two workers are the only ones in this entire set that can actually plant anything. But... All four of these workers here between the uh, little attic space and these two ones on the bottom can all harvest. But, but the large farmhouse has eight workers who can all harvest. They can only plant the pumpkins, but all eight of these guys can harvest. So if you have this set up to where all of your assistant farmers uh, are harvesting and all of your regular farmers are only planting, you could actually just have a couple of these, uh, I guess, three unit sets and one of these large farmhouses in this area and get a lot more done with a lot fewer beavers and free up some space to plant some more plants. So we're going to take care of that as one of our major projects today, as well as finally getting back into the library, having the beavers hit the books again, unpausing this and hopefully not uh, <laughs> losing all of our food in the process. But uh, that's going to require us to get a lot more going here. And uh, yeah, that's, it's going to be a process. It always is. And then this district down here, our fantastic, wonderful Bramble Dam, uh, is also in need of some other stuff. But food, food they've got on lock. They're actually really, really well off for that. So we can see what else we might want to get into down here. And maybe even start exporting some stuff back to the main district. If you take a look at the district crossing on this side that's a tree on this side we could actually start force importing some of the food from the other district but i don't think we need to worry about that quite yet we still do have plenty of other stuff to do and we also have our industrial district over here which currently is actually working quite well we're making some metal blocks in our factory here that we need to make some other things in our playthrough but we're probably going to want to have uh, this make another anvil so we can have more primitive ironworks. So that was the uh, the problem I ran into last episode that I thought I'd lost my anvil. No, well, it, it was here at the beginning, but then they finished construction of this primitive ironworks, and that's where that went. But we need another one of these because we've got all these other things we really should be making. So to make another anvil, we're going to need all sorts of other stuff. And they actually don't have any coal because... We finally reached the point where these mines can't adequately supply coal and mountain salt at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start making charcoal in the wood burner because we do have 400 logs. We're not really using all of all the time and there's plenty more we can be, you know, taken down. We just haven't done it yet. So what I'm going to do, make charcoal here. Uh, we'll keep mining the coal for right now, just so we have more, but we're really going to need to start making some more salt because that's going to be very important for the rest of the food stuff we're going to getting into we're going to need to get some more storage so uh, unfortunately a lot of that is kind of predicated on having the additional research done which means the library has to be back in business so a little bit of a long-winded explanation to start things off but we can go ahead and unpause just as soon as I fix our pumpkin situation I'm actually going to unplant all of these and we're going to end up moving the large farmhouse over into this area into this over here is going to become chestnuts like a whole bunch of chestnut farming because we have to have more trees than this to actually get the amount of chestnuts we need and the dandelions are going to have to uh have to get well, i'm not going to replant them but they are going to have to be allowed to grow uninhibited because it turns out they're going to be a lot more important than i originally thought and we're going to have to have storage for these things but we'll get all that stuff figured out in due time I just wanted to make sure they weren't going to replant all these pumpkins. So now these guys have nothing to do for planting. But if we tell them to harvest, then 
they'll grab all the stuff as it gets regrown. So now we have a choice to make. Which of these farmhouses do we get rid of? I think probably the easy choice, based off of how this is laid out, is going to be these on the edge here. These three can probably go away. So we'll just get rid of those real quick. And then this guy right here doesn't need to be here. So right now we've gained a lot of space, actually. And the way these paths are set up, we actually don't need all of these that are still set out here. We have all this stuff down here, scaffoldings and a bunch of actually valuable resources we should be picking up. So let's uh, set that for pickup, set that for pickup. Let them take care of all that stuff. And I can actually take this entire thing out since we don't have any uh, any stuff over here anymore. These farmers can just do what they need to do. And that one needs to stay. But all of this stuff, all the stuff can get picked up. And these guys can reach all of, well, most of these crops. These guys can reach most of these, and these guys can reach almost all of this. But we're not going to need to have all this cabbage up here if we reclaim this space. It can also be used a little bit more efficiently. So I'm going to unplant uh, pretty much this entire section up here. And we will replant cabbages all through here and here. And I may... Uh, I may be hearing you asking right now, now why would you do that when you got rid of all those beavers that were working as harvesters and all those beavers that were working as planters? Now you have more plants planted over here, blah, 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 blah. You're getting rid of this. Well, let's not forget, uh, in the large farmhouse uh, building menu, if we go into that, it says it can be built on and connected to a pit and ladder lodge. And guess what this is? Right here, pit and ladder lodge tower segment. So if we come over here, this currently does not allow us to build on top because there is not enough space. However, comma, we have the ability with our platforms, our overhang walkways, to actually build out to the side. So we just have to figure out kind of how this is going to want to work as this is finished because once that's up there, they should be able to harvest a whole bunch of this and we can plant some pumpkins right here instead of having cabbages which is something that only these guys can get to. And in fact, if we did that, we might even be able to get rid of this entire setup right here. But we're going we're gonna to try this real quick. See if there is a, uh, a better way to do this. I just have to figure out how the geometry is going to work. So right now, yeah, it looks like this needs a full 4x4 four four space. So if I do this, just trying this uh, completely blind, so... Uh, Forgive my lack of knowledge here. Oh, it's not going to let me do that, is it? All right. Okay, so now riddle me this. If I was always allowed to build this on top of how this was uh, configured, then why is it not letting me do that? <sighs> that was dumb. I misclicked. Well, we'll get that. We'll get that fixed. Tower segment. Yep, there we go. This was... Uh, which direction? I don't know that it actually matters. Probably all the same. That's fine. They hadn't started building that yet anyway. Unless they had, and that's the uh, the rubble. No, that's explosives. All right, so that idea is dead, which is unfortunate. So this can reach all of this stuff. Well, most of it. So this has overlap with this guy. This has overlap over here. I don't know, maybe I should get rid of this guy instead and plant pumpkins down here. Not entirely sure. Can they, uh... Okay, good. They can reach that. Because this guy's down in the water for the rice. I can't put the large farmhouse down here because that's not waterproof yet. Because we, uh, have to research the uh, blueprints for the waterproof part of that. This spatter dock also needs to go literally anywhere else. Pine resin, pine resin, pine resin, spatter dock. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna get, get rid of that. We can plant some more stuff there. But if I take this out, 
then I think we're probably actually going to be okay because this has a reasonable sized range to get through most of this. And we have a lot of stuff stored in here, actually. Yeah, let's um, let's just do that. There we go. Now I've got space. Now I've got space. If I put this here, zoom out enough where we can actually see, this guy can actually reach almost everything in here. So that's actually really good. That's good. So we'll put this guy back down here instead. Let them grab these pumpkins. Looks like, oh, they, they died. What do you mean they died? Do they go bad? How... How how do they go bad? Do they do you have to harvest them within a certain time period? If that's the case, that's evil. <laughs> that is oh, that's absolutely evil. Well. I guess we have to leave this here until uh until that's all done. But at least if we click on this, the blueberries are continuing to grow. Tar and water, we've got the water and sunflower oil here. These guys are making stuff, pumpkin chips, which actually uh, we probably should move these as well <laughs> if our pumpkins are going to be over here. Yeah, I, th I think that's probably probably a smart idea. I know I just made a big show out of moving all of this stuff out of the way, but hey, sometimes you just never know. Oh, there's going to be a couple of, uh, yeah, there's going to be a couple of these they can't get to. That's unfortunate. We'll get it figured out. I don't know. I'm, I'm going into this just about as blind as I possibly can be. Whether or not that is a good idea remains to be seen. But we are making coal very, very slowly. Do we have enough to make, uh, to make more metal blocks? It doesn't seem like it. Doesn't quite seem like it, but we're working on it. I would like to do a bunch more industrial stuff, but it's just so slow of a process to get through there. Kind of seems like it's going to be, I don't know, another 40 episodes if we do it at this rate. So we, we might actually not get to all this. Probably won't, actually. And one of these, uh, was it under basic village structures? Tree nursery? That's the water tank upgrade. Um, this guy, a thousand science points. And that plants the giant sequoias and then uh, other things. So we're not ever going to get anywhere if we don't have more science. But we can't have more science until we have more food. And it seems like we can't have more food until we fix our farming stuff. So these guys are uh, regrettably still several days away from being harvested. And this is still a little bit away from actually being constructed. But we can go ahead and get that going. And we do need to build a uh, build a uh, assistant farmers probably on top of here because this isn't ever going to flood. I don't think that's going to be a problem. So we'll see what happens. Got plenty to do. Plenty to do. And I did want to go ahead and unplant all of this. We could just turn these into more cooking tents. And that could actually be where we put our... Uh, our pumpkin stuff, once that's all harvested, because I know they're not always going to be able to uh, get to all this. And we can make it a little bit more compact, like I was saying earlier. We want to make sure we can get more of these. Oh, they actually can't reach any further than this. Ah, so I'm going to have to have another forest or good build. All right, all right. Punishing difficulty it is. Where's my... There it is. We actually have a pretty good amount of food here for a relatively small district. So what we need to be doing, uh, is this fully staffed? No, it's not. Send one more beaver up there. We need to make sure we can uh, fully support everything. Not that we need people to be working all the time, but there's still plenty to get done. I think for right now, this is actually functioning pretty well. All things considered. I thought I'd put a staircase in here last time. Maybe not. Maybe I was incorrect in saying that, but we'll go ahead, get rid of that, and then hopefully at some point our, uh, <laughs> it's angelic fun, 
uh, our lumberjacks can take the rest of these trees out. Did I not attach this? There we go. In fact, so we have the extra beaver. I might as well go ahead and uh, stick that guy in there and make sure they can get the rest of these dead trees. Then we got to start planting some over here because we're going to run out of wood at some point. But for right now, it seems like we're doing okay. Yeah, those pumpkins are going to be taking a while to get harvested. What are we waiting on here? Is it just logs? Well, we have logs. That's not uh, that's not the thing that's in question here. All right, and that little water tank is probably fine where it is. The giant buried tank is actually full. Okay, good. I think as far as food storage is concerned and other storage, all of this needs to move because this is good planting area. All we got to do is just shift this stuff up here as we have the ability to harvest things. So the farm upgrade, I don't know why I have them set to prioritize planting because they kind of can't plant anything. They just need to be harvesting. So we'll let them take care of what they need to take care of. Pay no attention to the 1100 food thing. That's very deceptive because most of the food is in the other district. Main district only has about 300. So we're working on it. Now these guys are harvesting in the large farmhouse and they've got plenty of uh, plenty of spaces for them to actually live. So it's a good thing we got rid of those others. Lots and lots of stuff to uh, take advantage of here. Right, yep, yeah, getting cabbages. Uh, this water medium tank can go somewhere else. And we're going to have to just find another place that will actually accept this. What we really need is we really need to unlock these larger warehouses, which I do have the science for currently, but I, I really would rather not until we have a pretty uh, pretty good amount here. We are most of the way through the large water wheel blueprint, which is exciting. Uh, this guy's still making scaffoldings, but I don't think I have... St oh, I only have storage for five of these? Wow. That would be why I don't have any of them, huh? All right, any warehouses I can co-opt? What do you mean it's too far from a district? How do they... Can they not build up from the inside? Well, that's really dumb. If, it, if the inside of the building is like a ladder, then how, how does that not work? How does that not work? They really, they should be able to access this. Well, that's kind of garbage if they can't do that. Or is does this have to connect? Does this little compass rose thing have to be in this correct spot? I don't know. The design of the building is not very clear on how that's actually supposed to work. All right, tower segment. Because I thought I thought that's how I had that set up. It says it's too far, even though the building itself is a ladder. How? Do, explain to me how that works. How that makes sense? Because that doesn't. I I just truly really do not understand how that is supposed to make sense. Yeah, we're we're real low on food here. We have the salt. Uh, we have. I don't know. It's kind of difficult for me to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. But I feel like most of this is kind of cut and dry. It should just be automatic. You plant the food, you harvest the food, but they never they never harvest this. Even if I have these all set to harvest, they're going to take their sweet time and not actually, you know, gather the stuff. So, who knows? Maybe I'm just cursed to always be lacking in food in this one district. These guys are about halfway done. Pumpkin chips, pumpkin chips, pumpkin chips. I need storage. This is for comic books currently. That's a house. Probably don't need that to be there. Uh, these are all crappy warehouses. One for berries, one for sunflower seeds. Dandelions. I guess I could just make another, another warehouse. Just for scaffolding. To get that actually out of the way. So they can make more. No wonder we didn't have any. I didn't have anywhere for them to put anything. 86%. We'll keep our eye on this. And then we'll have our copyist and our uh, artist lodge duplicate these. Because we have 31 a giant buried tank fancy blueprints. And we have 93 <laughs> large farmhouses. I think we're probably good forever on those. So that's looking good. 87%. Right. And all these that aren't getting harvested, I, I don't understand why. They're they're all marked. All marked for getting harvesting. 
So they should be able to just grab it. I don't get what the deal is with that. Just really does not make any sense. Uh, we also don't have enough berries because the beavers end up having to eat them. Got a drought coming in three days. And all of this power stuff isn't going to work because I don't have the gravity batteries yet because I don't have anywhere to put the gravity batteries because I don't have... Well, the way platforms work are, I guess, intentionally obtuse. So you have to build a bunch of houses to drop them off the top of which, okay, but I don't know. Seems like it's deliberately designed to be as obtuse as possible, which, fair. But very, very different from what I'm used to. 64%, 65%, 66 67 It's funny they're all in the uh, sequence like that. But somebody, for the love of God, come get these cabbages. I, I don't, I really don't understand why they can't just come get the cabbages. Because if I prioritize all of this as cabbage collection... I mean, that, that's really all I can do. I just need them to come get this stuff. And I guess they're just busy doing literally anything else. Well, it's fine. I just want to plant some more pumpkins over here, man. <laughs> I got stuff to... Got stuff to do, stuff to take care of. And we're not going to make that much progress without that. Maybe I just need to move... Maybe I just need to uh, have this large farmhouse go somewhere else. This setup is not really uh, not really the best at being optimized. I could possibly put a large farmhouse in over here and just export all my food, but this is such a long distance to actually get over here. And I feel like it's probably not... Jeez, what a mess. It's probably not actually uh, worth it. I, don't, I haven't disallowed any of the food. I'm forcing the import of, I don't know why, for some of this stuff. All right, just come, just come get the cabbages. There's, there's no reason why you can't just come get cabbages. And I also don't understand why I can't build on top of this thing if it's supposed to be a tower thing. Like, how, how does that work? How does that make sense? Now, if I put the district center on top of this, it's not going to let me because it's not separated. So it thinks it can build this. But then as soon as I come in with the tower segment, it doesn't want to let me place it. So what's up with that? What is up with that? Unless this guy is rotated the wrong way, which I really hope that's not the case. That would be rather irritating. So now all of these are ready to get picked. And most of this is in range, so what's the deal? What's the deal? Go get the cabbage. We're literally all waiting. We're all waiting for this cabbage. Now this space right here, and this space right here, actually would make a good, a good place to put pumpkin. Because it's only 2x2 two two and that's as far as that can go. So I guess we can leave that be. These sunflowers are... Okay, well, some of them are uh, just about done. We'll let those go, but I'm not going to replant them. I guess we'll just find random spots to put pumpkins where they can't get uh, they can't get ungrown or anything. But we also need to have sunflower seeds. I don't know. It's kind of a, uh, kind of a complicated thing we got going on here. Now, in terms of coal, I see... One, I see one coal, which I guess it has to have 50 logs to make 30 coal. Okay. Well, I mean, we still have the coal. Oh, should probably prioritize by haulers. That might help. Maybe just a little bit. There we go. I did get a comment on the last episode saying, hey, uh, Bramble Dam needs a, a log gnar, but we got one. That was one of the first things we built over here, so I think they're okay. Don't think we have any issues with that. They've done plenty well on food. We just need to actually get them to uh, export properly. Now, all of this space up here, instead of this being cabbages, we could just make this into our sunflower planting. And eventually move all of 
the sunflower stuff into other locations. Clear out a bunch of this and see what we're able to do. We have plenty of rice, tons of rice, but we can't make it into the rice balls because it requires all this other stuff like mountain salt. That somehow, I guess we just prioritize all these by the haulers again. Let's see what happens. Raised cabbage uh, seems to be working okay. These guys have haulers in them. I just, I've really missed the dedicated, uh, dedicated hauling buildings. I feel like that's uh, been difficult for me to overcome. All right, if I prioritize sunflowers, planting, they should be able to stick those back out here unless it's not irrigated enough to actually grow anything. But I don't think, don't think that's the case. Okay, no, they're planting. That's uh, kind of working, I guess. Just baffling why they won't get these cabbages right here. Just does not make sense. Well, I will deprioritize that guy. I really don't want to have to make a separate farmhouse just for them to harvest these things. So I don't want to have farmhouses up here. But I think that's going to be what we have to do. I don't see any other way around it. But we just got to get them to build stuff, man. It's just extremely slow. Okay, so they finished. Let's uh, go back to scaffoldings. This needs to get set to large water wheel. This needs to get set to large water wheel. So we'll let them make a couple of those. Do I have a rack in here that I can use? I don't think so. I think I've got to build another one, which is here. There we go. We'll set this to... Oh, man. Which one Which one do I want? Fancy large water wheel. There we go. Now we got a six-day drought. It means no more, well, anything over here. We actually made some metal blocks. We've got ten. So that's uh, some sort of progress being made. Now, harvest the cabbage. And don't replant it because it's not replantable. Just harvest it and get it out of here so we can, we can move on with our lives. Yeah, this campfire needs to go somewhere else. That's going to get removed. This water tank, like I said earlier, is going to get removed. It probably should just go up here. Unless we just want to make another one of these giant buried tanks. Probably, probably should. We just have to have space for it. Got to remember exactly where I was going to put that because we tri <laughs> we tried another spot and it did not work. But if I if I like say for example go down in here, yeah, I don't think it's it's not going to let me go in the water because it's got to be two two blocks deep. Is there anywhere naturally occurring? I don't have to blast anything to get to outside of like right here, but I don't think it's gonna. No, it's not going to play nice. I already have this. I guess just to make sure that we have something, I will set that medium tank there. Yeah, they'll build that pretty uh, pretty fast here. Go ahead and set that out. These uh, kimchi barrels, probably we need to have somewhere else. Uh, gatherer flag. Do we even need that? We have a harvester's office that can gather almost all of this. In fact, the only thing it can't gather is this little bit down here. But I feel like it should be uh, should be able to. Well, regardless, this needs to move anyway. So that's going to go bye-bye. Uh, the pine resin storage, we don't really care about. Salt rice balls and bramble flowers can all be moved up here. We have this space. Uh, warehouses. That's a pit warehouse. Small. I, oh, I didn't unlock small warehouses. I just have the mini crappy warehouse. That's right. That can be built on top. Not that we... Well, I'll, I'll just do this because that's an easy, accessible thing. That's going to be bramble flowers. And then this, what was here? Salt rice balls now. Um, I guess this could be more bramble flowers. But we'll get rid of these. And these, um, these are not done. 
So we will let those finish before we get rid of them. Man, they're just slow at harvesting, let me tell you what. I did not think it was going to be that big of a problem to uh, get all this stuff harvested. But I guess it was. Alright, so we got these guys. Probably should. Uh, I think I have enough clay pots. Yeah, I've got plenty. So let's put in a couple more of these guys right here. I'm glad that the supports for the uh, the news billboard don't seem to care about having stuff put in there. Berry jam, salt. We'll do the same things again. Make sure we take care of that. And then uh, as these finish, we'll get rid of those. Uh, this is now ready to be removed. These um, for pumpkin chips probably don't need to be here. As well as the sunflower oil, this can just be water. Because, well, we can't really do much of anything else. Now we have a little bit more space to put in some chestnut trees. Which we will plant there. Got one more row. Okay, that's uh, that's something at least. That gatherer flag is probably fine right there. I'm gonna have to have another forester built if I want to build more chestnut trees. Gotta gotta make that happen. Eighty four percent. All right. Uh, do we have fancy? No, no, we do not. We need to have a little bit more time. But look at that finished pretty fast here. All right, so that's done. They're gonna come down here. We got pencil sets, we got paper, and as soon as they get that one blueprint, they should be good to go. And looks like it's in. Yep. All right, so that cycle has begun. Uh, food has still not been solved because we really just need to have a bunch more pumpkins. Seems like that's the ultimate food here. That guy's just about done. Yeah, so we'll just uh, we'll just clear up some space where they can't possibly get messed with, kind of interspersed, separated from each other here, just to grow a couple of pumpkins and see how that works. Should be fine. Spatterdock apparently is completely useless, so we're not going to worry about that. Have to remember to come back and check on this stuff in a second here. All right, so those chestnut trees are planted. These here are three fourths of the way done. We've got oh, the mountain salt uh, probably doesn't need to be stored here anymore. Probably needs to have some sort of storage over here. Compass Lodge is there. Oh, I should have built underneath that. I don't know if I still can. I should have put a long tiny warehouse underneath it but I don't think it's going to let me uh, don't think it's going to let me do that because this is already here. Do I have I have three of these? Yeah I'll tell you what we'll get rid of this we'll put this down here and then we'll uh, we'll put this back in alright copyist copyist lodge there we go oh it's going to be like that huh it's going to be like that, really. All right, that's fine. We'll just move it across the street. Didn't really need to be that way anyway. Except now I've got to... Oh, man. You know, I got to, I got to say, this, uh, this mod has the unparalleled ability to make the most baffling design decisions. All right, staircase. Oh, I can research ladders if I have enough science, which I kind of don't. Uh, but hey, at least I have four of these large water wheel fancy blueprints. That's uh, That's got to count for something. Anyway, this needs to be... Oh, no, and I, I shouldn't have even put a warehouse here. That should have been a pile. Man, brain is not working today, I'll tell you that much. Large pile is not going to fit unless I demolish this out with some uh, dynamite. Which, might as well. Because we definitely could use some more salt storage. We have coal, we have salt here, but it is mostly full. Of course, now they can't can't get in here because I can't get up there. 
Gotta figure that out. Medium warehouse for comic books probably could get moved. I just have to have a stair that can get up there. Alright, that's ready. And in we go with a large pile. Or salt. So they can get access to all of that here. Alrighty, so we's almost, almost harvested all of this. Oh, that one cycled again. Alright, now I guess we have to wait. Or maybe not. It's not gonna ruin everything. We just have to have the uh have to have the ability to redo it. So I don't think we can afford to wait anymore. So I will just uh, get rid of that. Mm, we've got all this up here. Do I have I should put in, right here for kimchi, I should put in three of these as pit tanks to come all the way through here. Just have that be for kimchi storage, which is, which one of these? There we go. And this can still be set to obtain, but now those are in place there. Now, is there going to be a way for me to actually get away with this? To put in uh, everything the place I want it to go? I'm not actually sure, but I'll put the stairs there anyway. We'll go up top. And then platform-wise, we, <laughs> we have our, our crappy platforms. I guess I could just, uh, just do something like this. At least we'll have access to a second floor of something up here. What do I currently have this set to large water wheels? I guess I could just make a bunch of those once they get connected properly. Okay, well that's all. That's already a good choice to put that there. That's fine. Uh, berries, etc. This tank of water doesn't need to be here. This path doesn't need to be here. Uh, this path doesn't need to be here. So that's fine there, and then this could actually be moved over this way as well. Okay, so now we have all this extra space in which to plant cabbages. So now I know they can reach that. Uh, I'm going to leave this right here. So the uh, berries can continue to expand out. But now we've got room for some pumpkins. Kind of. At least those additional spots. We have to wait for these sunflower seeds to get removed. But we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six little pumpkin patches. And we could put a couple more in different places as we continue to go about our business here. So I'll just kind of checkerboard checkerboard pattern a bunch of this. Yeah, that actually seems like that would work pretty well. Just put some pumpkins in close range of this guy. And then the rest of this can be probably uh, probably cabbages. Is this... Uh, yeah. All of this, if all this got turned into cabbages... Most of this can get turned into sunflower seeds. Once all of this is harvested, I'm probably going to put a couple more of these cooking tents in. Well, for right now at least, I guess there's not really any harm in putting sunflower seeds on this side in the space that we can place them. So that's cabbage. I should probably prioritize sunflowers. Just planting. All right, so that's some sort of progress there, albeit slowly. But oh, we've got some pumpkins growing, which is nice. I'll cycle these guys over to harvesting priority. It seems the dandelions are slowly respreading. The berries, of course taking their sweet time as well. But now that this is a little bit less crowded, I think this makes a little bit more sense. And we've got some space right here. Might as well put some sunflowers in that spot. 
berry storage. I'm also not completely married to that being here either. It probably shouldn't be. But um, we gotta get gotta get some more food stuff growing in here real quick. You know, the kimchi is just a really slow process, really slow process. But now we're making more large water wheel fancy blueprints. We just have to be able to uh, have to be able to run the library. We just have to have uh, dandelions and berries and all sorts of that stuff, which uh, probably need to go ahead and put this gatherer flag back in so they can take all of these uh, dandelions. I know I took that out for a reason, but I think it's probably about time for that to go back in. All right, we got another one of these. I can plant pumpkins in. Very good. Water's coming back, which means we can start making more and more of this stuff. We don't even have metal. We don't even have metal block storage. How could I be so careless? Well, I think those of you who uh, have watched these videos religiously know exactly how uh, how I could be so careless. But right, we'll give them a little place to put some. Metal block storage. We have these making berry juice and sunflower oil. We just don't have the uh, just don't have the water to run it yet. We do have screw press axles stored up, ready to go, so that's good. Uh, saw blades we do not have, which is why I've been wanting to uh, make another one of these primitive ironworks. So I'm actually going to have this make an anvil again, even though I know we're not going to have enough stuff to do it. We just really, really need to have another one <laughs> so I can make another one of these primitive ironworks. We can't be continuously hemmed in by the uh, requirement to be producing all this stuff that's severely holding us back. All right, got a couple more spots to plant pumpkins. I'll just make our very slow process. But it'll pay dividends pretty well later on once we're actually able to harvest all of these pumpkins and eat the uh, eat the pumpkins raw and all that good stuff. Just a very, very slow process. Now, if I turn the library back on, I don't want it to become a big problem, but it seems like we still are not going to have enough to actually uh, support them. So they can reach all the way over here. I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of all of these brambles because I need I need these berries to uh, thrive a little bit more. Need to make sure that they can be safely uh, growing over here. It just takes so long to get rid of these; it's almost impossible. But if I can keep them on this side and not over here, I think we stand a much better chance. So I don't think they can go through buildings. So what I will do is just for the sake of control, I think I'm going to try to just blockade here with the buildings until I can actually replant some of this stuff. It might be stupid, but hey, guess what? If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. It's not that stupid, at least. Yeah, but this is just relentless about getting these other uh, other little bits in here. It's absolutely relentless. They're not all going to stay here. No, I just want to make sure this other stuff can spread. Well, the stuff that isn't the brambles. That just all needs to go. You see, it almost goes faster than you can keep up with it. All right, we're still waiting on scrap metal, which they hopefully, hopefully can be harvesting over here. It looks like they are. It's just a slow process. It's like almost like a full-time job getting rid of this stuff here. Alright, that's some sort of progress made. 
Got berries coming back in. I just know they're going to spawn some other little demon berries over here. Or brambles, whatever you want to call those things. So really, really going to have to keep an eye out for it. There's one that is already, I thought, I thought was already a second uh, little spawn here. Yeah, we get this, uh, get this stuff out of here, man. Let's go. Oh, I set that to scrap metal, not metal blocks. Duh. Okay, that can immediately have those put in place. All right, we're almost, almost free of the uh, the brambles over here. Almost. Just about done. Come on. Okay, so now that that's a thing, I don't think they can hop through buildings. If they can, then shoot me. But now it looks like our berries can kind of spread unencumbered, which is the ideal outcome we want. All right, got more space for some pumpkins here, so let's pop those in. Should, should yield big dividends. Eventually. Plenty of bramble flowers, plenty of cabbages, at least for right now. Kimchi is just a slow process, 72 hours per batch. So we just need to have a bunch more of those barrels, which we could easily put, easily put down here. Just massively increase our capacity. Set all of these to kimchi. Not making any methane or mediocre chestnut beer or any of that. Definitely don't need to do barrel cleaning. But that should help us out quite a bit. Bramble flower storage right here is fine. Uh, cabbage storage actually should be one of the next things we put in. Uh, small warehouse right here is probably actually, you know what? No. Oh, I don't have a pit warehouse. Okay, no, we can, we can research the pit warehouse. That's actually kind of useful. That guy right there can be for cabbages. If I can remember what a cabbage looks like. There we go. See, we're making progress very, very slowly. Attempting to optimize how all this stuff is set up. It is, in fact, a struggle constantly. But, hey, we've got... Uh, let me make sure this isn't marked for cutting good. We have some uh, chestnuts. Well, chestnut trees. And sometime... Maybe before the end of the episode, we'll have chestnuts come out of it. Which will be nice, because then they can just eat those or use them in recipes. Another place to put pumpkins. Cool. Alright, so I will do one more. Oh, well, I mean, they have all this range, so that's fine, but... So we want to make sure we're having enough room for pumpkins. So I will just continue to kind of checkerboard this. I think checkerboarding is probably fine. Should work out pretty well. Especially if pumpkins are as powerful as some of you are claiming they are definitely are going to want to have plenty of those. <sighs> These... Mm, that's not what I wanted you to do. That's not what I wanted you to do. We gotta, we gotta nip that in the bud. Cannot have you growing into adjacent squares. That is... Absolutely forbidden. I think that was the problem we had before over here. No, 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 no. We we gotta we gotta get rid of that. Keep you confined to your specifically enumerated quarters. That's just gonna cause inefficiencies right there. All right, now do I have brambles invading? No, good. All right, that seems to finally be over. <laughs> we just have this space right here. We can. Uh, 
take advantage of. Now, eventually we are going to have other buildings here. And we still don't have enough scrap metal for the factory. How much do we have stored up here? None. Are we using the scrap metal anywhere else? I feel like we shouldn't be. Oh, we are in the primitive ironworks to make the fasteners. But I've got 84 of those, so... Uh, I guess we could just pause this for now. So they can put all of the scrap metal in the factory. Because we absolutely have to have an anvil. We need another one of those. Okay. Alright, let's make sure we plant the cabbages first. So this doesn't turn into another... Uh, Another problem here. Should I should have done this just a bit differently. But if the cabbages are already planted, then the, uh, the pumpkins can't encroach on them. We just got to make sure they never are uh, open at the same time. I guess I could put some sunflower seeds there. That's fine. Now, green peas are going to require other uh, investments in stuff. We're going to have to have different kind of kitchen houses, etc. Now, I did say I was going to build a nerdy attic for our, uh, well, nerds. But I have to research that, which is... Oh, I can't remember where that is. Is it under well-being? 500 science. Yep, don't have that yet. So that, that is coming, but we have to, you know, actually have room for it first. Okay, and that's set for pumpkin, but they haven't planted it yet. Okay, well, they've got the ability to do that if they so choose. We'll just hang on. I know it doesn't look like the food's actually improved, but it has very slightly. We're getting better. We have 100 salt rice balls. We've got 143 of the berry version. So there is progress being made. It's just a little slower than I think people want. By people, I mean my beavers. And this space right here, I wonder, should I just put in a platform so they can just walk across this? Probably. Oh, they can't reach it. They can't reach it. What if I do this? Still can't reach it? That's a pain. How am I gonna get how am I gonna get them in here? How am I gonna get them in here? I guess I have to unplant. I have to unplant these three and then actually take take this down into the water here. Because I want them to be able to walk across this to harvest plants. But that's gonna be a little bit of a uh, little bit of a fun time, shall we say. Now, all this extra space over here, I wanted wanted to plant some more chestnuts, but I don't have another forester. So if I, uh, if I just build another one of these, probably not an issue. Plenty of room there. How far does this guy's range go? There? Okay. So I will just do that. We'll plant these chestnut trees here and here all the way over. Was that three or four more? All right, I got one more I can do. Good. And that can reach all the way up there. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Berries, unfortunately, I cannot plant unless I have a tree nursery, which is stupendously irritating. But getting more of these uh, chestnut trees planted is going to be a good and worthwhile endeavor. All right, now we have some pumpkins coming in. So that should help us out considerably. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any of these things uh, set to make pumpkin chips. So we should probably make some more of those. Make two more to do pumpkin chips. And remember that that recipe also has stuff that it requires, which if we take a look here for pumpkin chips is pumpkins 
you got sunflower oil and then you have the mountain salt mountain salt stored right there we don't currently have any storage for sunflower oil but we can easily easily put a couple of tanks in just put a plank tank for sunflower oil uh where is that up here there we go nice and easy right there and obviously the pumpkin stuff is easy to uh, find a place for it so right next to that i will put in this little warehouse right here we can put in pumpkin storage and that should be it everything should be pretty easily accessible for these guys and they can go ahead and get right to work all right and i've got a couple more spots to plant pumpkins by a couple more i mean just this one for right now but we will get the others soon enough and we are coming up on the uh end of this episode here in just a little bit i want to see if i can get a little bit more going in the way of food here so once the pumpkin thing becomes a little bit better uh better organized i think we're going to see ourselves in a very very good place when it comes to food and we got to get these guys planting yeah planting cabbage priority because the guys upstairs well the one guy redneck up here can be prioritized to gather cabbages so I think that will be much better optimization. I should have done that earlier. But these guys can uh, can be planting different things. Rice paddy pretty much takes care of itself. Don't really need to be worried that much about it. Now we have, I got 10 of these large water wheel blueprints. Fancy blueprints. I don't think I need to be, uh, I don't think I need to be copying these anymore, but I'll just make the rest of those fancy. Uh, the rest of this could be could be just doing comic books. They're making scaffoldings here. We actually have a decent number now. And I know I've been saying this whole time, I really want to reopen the library, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I am afraid of reopening this because I, I know they're just going to suck all the food up. Super, super fast. We don't really have a lot of kimchi either. We only have about 30 of it, about 32, exactly 32 as shown up there. But we just we need the science man I, I can't i can't keep not having science so i'm gonna turn it on and i'm gonna lower it down to one beaver one beaver working in here so they can't burn through it quite as fast but the berries are definitely definitely gonna be a problem and we're gonna have to address that but i can't make the tree nursery i don't think until i have uh I might as well just look at this up again. Yeah, the tree nursery requires, I, what is it, a mycology degree? Or I can't remember whatever the ENS thing is. And then this, this is just so far out of reach right now. It is going to be a very, very, very long time before we get to this. So I don't know. I don't know if you guys even have the patience to watch another 40, 50, 60 episodes of this. I don't know if I have the patience to do another 40 50 or 60 episodes of this, but it, it's not going to be quick. I can promise you that it's going to be a very long thing. So uh, as we kind of uh, round up today's episode, I do uh, very much want your feedback. Uh, do you like the series? Do you want to see us go way deep into the tech tree? Or do you think it's just going to be way too much? You're not interested in uh, watching? Please do let me know. I'm having a good time playing this. I just, I don't want to make stuff that you guys don't want to watch. Is uh, has been kind of my motto for a while. So if you guys like it, we'll keep going. If you don't, then maybe we cut it back again or shift over to live streams or something because it is it is just so much stuff to get through. And uh, I want to make sure you're not bored. I guess it's the, uh, the best thing for me to do here. But we do have an anvil. We have an anvil. We managed to make one, which means we can finally build ourselves another... Uh, I, don't, I don't even know where this thing goes. Primitive Ironworks. Okay, no, that would be here. We can finally put ourselves another one of these. So we'll build that right next door. And this one is making um, metal fasteners. This one can be making crude saw blades. We can unpause these. Get those guys uh, ready to go. And I think that's going to be a big help for our production in the future. But yeah, this is uh, probably as good of a place to stop as any of them. So 
Always appreciate your comments and all of your feedback. Uh, feel free to drop anything, even if you think it might not be the uh, most helpful thing. I do enjoy talking to you guys, and it's one of the things I think that makes this a lot more fun than just posting uh, me playing the game and not interacting at all, because, you know, it's a let's play, not a watch me play the game. So look forward to your feedback on that. And of course, want to say thank you to the Beard Boosters making all of this possible for videos every single day. Really appreciate those folks and all of their contributions. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one tomorrow for our, uh, what are they called? Folktales? Yeah, those guys <laughs> in the modded playthrough as we continue our uh, giant water area. And then tomorrow is also the release of Cities Skylines 2. So we're going to have... Hopefully I can uh, manage to do a live stream of uh, playing that one for the first time and we can enjoy hanging out with each other and uh, all that fun new stuff. So make sure you can be a part of that. Love to have you there. But if not, that's fine too. Just glad that you're here right now and that we're able to share a little bit of time together. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, have a fun time, stay safe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.